Hello YouTube, HaloDC1 here, and today I'm just going to be doing a review for you. This is my first review, I haven't done one before. Um, I haven't really had anything that I've bought that needed to be reviewed that I thought would benefit uh, me and other people. But today it is going to be on the Ava Media Game Catcher HD, which you can see the box of. I bought this about a month ago online. Costs between 100 and 150 pound, uh, so around 150 dollars for you US people. And for those who don't know, it is a capture card similar to the HD PVR, except it's got some features which the HD PVR lacks, and in my opinion, make this the better more you know better capture card to buy if you're looking to buy one first glance at the box shows you know it's a nice looking box got some people on it car there but to begin with as you see there it says PS3 Xbox and Wii and it comes with it comes with the cables there so you won't have to go out and buy the component cables like you would if you were using the HD PVR. It comes with them all in the box. And it also comes on the side of the box, it comes with the device itself, power adapter. Let's see if I can focus in a bit here. There we go. Power adapter, the remote control with batteries, manual the RCA audio cable and the component cables and then it comes with a component cable for game consoles the component cable is what you need to hook it up from the device to your TV so the video goes through from the Xbox or PS3 to the device through to the TV and as you see there there's the cable for the Wii, Xbox and PS3 the the remote is useful, but I'll get onto that later and show you what you can do with the remote. And the power adapter, I haven't actually looked what other what you can use it for. I've just connected my adapter and just put it in like that. So I'm just gonna show you what the Ava Media looks like. So bear with me. And here it is. This is the Ava Media Game Catcher HD. And at first glance, you can see that it's it's quite small. It's a it's less it's not as high as the Hall Parches. And one one thing I definitely notice is how light it is. You you can you know you can just it's there's barely anything there. You you pick it up and it's like you you misjudge how much you think it's going to weigh. Um, but yeah, it's a nice nice matte finish nothing too special the the thing i do like about the whole part is the lights on the top i admit they do you know the light that goes around there it does look quite cool but this has nothing particularly good about it on the outside but it's what's on the inside that i think uh, is the key point if you look on the back similar to the whole part you got your power in cable then this is where your component cable goes in from your game console and you've got your audio ones over here then you've got your ones that go through to your TV and it's just easily described as in and out and as many of you may know the Horpage you do have to be connected up to a laptop to use it uh, the laptop has to be on running and you have to be using um, the capturing software on your laptop and every time you want to capture it you have to click record which is a pain because you, you have to sit there and you have to you know go over click record leave your laptop on for as long as you want to record go over stop the recording it just seems you know so much harder if you haven't got a computer near you or a laptop that you're available to all the time this is why I've bought this as you can see on the front here, there's a USB input which you can connect a external USB hard drive 
and I simply use a I think this is a 60 gig external hard drive which I bought also bought online and it does the job fine it's it's a formatted fat 32 hard drive but there it does also support NTST which is uh, what I need to format this to and as you can see it just connects simply by USB to the uh, Ava Media and yeah once you plug it in you just have to click on uh, disk management and then it will simply just tell you that it's okay to record and then you can start recording and yeah just simple as that but if you don't want to use an external hard drive you also can use if you just pop the bottom off here in here you can put a 2.5 inch SATA hard disk and for me that wasn't a good option because I didn't have a SATA to USB but this way it keeps it all nice in there I've just dropped it it keeps it all nice in there no USB coming out of it at all yeah and you just slot it in slot it out connect it to your laptop and you're done but I, I prefer the hard external USB hard drive method because it's just easier to just take out the USB and connect it I am going to hook this back up and show you me using it in action on my 360 on and show you the menu and everything that's another thing that this has over the Horpage the Horpage doesn't have a accessible menu straight there and then uh, unlike this where you can just access all the videos you've recorded straight on your TV watch them back so as you can see I'm just at the dashboard picture quality is good even though that's the thing about uh, game catchers like this you have to run it through component so you can't use your HDMI and you'll have to play in 720p which it does take a while to get used to the difference because I'm used to playing in 1080p on here so that yeah it, it, you have to get used to it but then after a while you don't really notice but as you can see on the device it is showing a green light which means we're in the full mode and if I just use the remote, which is here, as you see, you've got power button at the top. That switches between modes up here, and you can run a, use this on the menu. You have the menu button here, info, which I've never used. Back button, recall, which allows you to uh, just watch the video you recorded straight back. Uh, screenshot. And actually, just take a picture. Another thing that the Hop Arch doesn't do. Um, this button is what you press when you want to record. You can either press the record button actually on the front of the device, or just press record on the remote. Then you have a play, pause, and then just your navigation for videos like fast forward, rewind, etc. And then let me just focus that. On the menu, you have three things you can go on if you go on the settings you can change the date and the time quality I just have it on the best of each screenshots as well and it is a bit buggy the menu sometimes like it will just cut out like it just did there but it's it's nothing like major um, just go to disk management USB, it will check it, and yeah, everything's okay. I can use my external hard drive there, and then you just you can just go here, and I have one recording in here, and I'll just show you. You can just play it simply like this. You can 
Pause it. Play it. If you have seen my other video, this was just me using the AK to help out a YouTube channel with a gun review for Black Ops 2. If you you could check that out, it's Next Gen Source is the channel name. And yeah, I was just using this. But as you can see, the quality of it is quite good. Even recording it on my iPhone, watching a playback of it, the quality on the TV isn't as good as it will be on YouTube because the difference in the size of the screen but the quality even just like that is it, you can see that it's HD and it looks good but I'm just going to show you if we go back on the remote this is something I didn't realize at first this button if you just click it it will bring up that which is real-time mode that disables the menu, you be an able to go on the menu and when you're playing a game if you're n not on real-time mode you'll experience a time gap in you pressing a button and it doing what you've clicked like you fire it will take a second to fire on FIFA you click X to pass and it will take a second before it does it and I didn't realize that and I had to Google to find out what I had to do. But an easy way to tell is that there's a blue light on now in this mode, and then you change mode, and the green light comes on, and that sort of tell. And it also tells you what each mode does. But I'm just going to show you how easy it is to record. Um, just about to click your record button. And the red lights come on down there, and we're now recording. And you can just go through, I'll just do this for you. Just, and then I'll show you how you can just simply stop recording. Red light's gone off, and you can click recall. Which should show you what I just recorded. Oh, I don't think I pressed it hard enough, but I'll just go to the menu. Oh, it's because I'm in that mode. Yeah. Oh, see, I just click recall then in normal mode. And it's now playing back what I just recorded. And I'm just going to go back to the menu. And another great thing is, if I don't want that recording, I can simply just go here, click delete. Oh, do I don't want to delete it. Yes. And now it's gone. And then simply, once you've got what you want to record, you can just plug it into your laptop take it off and then do whatever you wish with it so there you are and this has been me doing a review on the Ava Media and yeah in my opinion it is the at the moment the best capture card you can buy because it's just simpler to use it's got better features and sometimes it's cheaper sometimes it's not but you have to buy a hard drive or external USB one which would add a cost but mine was only £20 and they actually accidentally sent me two for the same price so yeah you're gonna have to buy one but yeah if you're looking to get a catch card I definitely recommend getting this over the haul parge uh, yeah so thank you for watching and please leave a comment subscribe this has been my first review, so I am a bit, as you can probably tell by my voice, I've run out of things to say, and if, if you could just leave me some positive feedback, it will help me in future get more confident 